Welcome back, everyone. Well, I suppose today it makes you phantom travelers. Let's get on the road. some weather. You know, this should be interesting. Doesn't look like it's going to be a very big storm, but that's okay. Some rain would be nice to drive through. Well, we made it. We're here. Just a semi-local campground. Well, at least we got a view of the lake. Not bad. Got a grill over here. I think I'll be using that tonight. Fire pit. We'll see if things are calm enough for me to light a fire. Got a little bit of a breeze at the moment. It might not be too bad. All right. Let me get you set up over here and uh, we'll set up camp.
when I'm not running the heater, I'll take this, make sure the cover's on it, and just drop it across the fender here to get it out of the way. Take you around the other side and I'll show you setting up kitchen. So the kitchen's not quite as easy to set up. One of these days I'll find a better method for it. Place these little T bolts in there. And over here. One of these days I ought to mark that track so I know exactly where they need to go. But, set the countertop down. Find a hole. And just put that on enough to hold it in place. Now the other one's a bit more of a pain because I have to get underneath and line it up. Swing nuts down. Position ought to work there. two cables. So this one I damaged in the process of making it. So I've got a place here where I cut the cable but I leave it on there because it makes it easy to find. So this is the one that goes on the back. <clears throat> and I set these up so they're long enough that they're easy to clip in. There we go. set up now what I'm going to do is go grab my level set it on here and I can adjust the turnbuckles to make sure that this is flat okay here's the level I use so it's just a little 360 degree bi-directional level so we'll set it over here okay so we're a little high on the right side which I knew so we're going to tighten this one down a little bit Okay, 
I'm just going to tighten this one down some just to make sure that it's held together. flat. I might see if I can lower it down just a little bit because it's leaning back toward the trailer some. Wipe this down and ready to go for cooking. Well, what do you say we make some dinner? Set up the kitchen sink. There we go. So, tonight I'm going to play with some charcoal. So I bought this equipment to allow me to do a charcoal type cookout without having to take up a whole bunch of space. You never really know when you might be in a place where you can actually set up a fire. There's our charcoal chimney. Let me take you down here to the table where we're going to be doing this. I worked through. These guys came up with a really nice portable fire pit. charcoal across the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and light it in this position and then spread it out when it's ready to go. And I've got a grill to go over the top. I'll show you that here in a second. So here's the grill in this one. It's got a couple of pieces. We have the grill itself here. 
And we've got the stand. So, this guy is designed to sit over the top of this. Not like that. And what we're going to do is take this and clip that together like that. So that'll hold some support in there in the middle. And we take this and place these over the corners here. And then just feed the cables in. Just like that. So now we've got a grill set up right here over the charcoal. You can put obviously firewood in there, whatever you've got, just small quantities of it. This is a concrete table, so I don't have to worry about it too much. And you can get things set up. So, starting process we'll fill this with charcoal, or at least about halfway, and get that started up on here and get some things going. So I told you I'd show you a bit about what's in my kitchen box here. So we've got a little fold-up colander. Here we've got the soup pot. This is a small, probably oh, four-quart soup pot. Down inside of here I've got uh, some odds and ends. So we've got a couple of baking tins. I'll probably use one of these tomorrow. I've got a little water pump for the other water delivery system that I use. A, uh, <clears throat> a pot to boil water in. Got a couple of mixing bowls and a couple of serving bowls down in there. Fits in there really nice. Here we've got a couple of cups and just a little salt and pepper. Kind of scattered in and around here. We've got cooking utensils spatulas, wooden spoons, things along those lines. Over here, just because I don't always camp alone, I've got two sets of cutlery. This is just a little light and a bug zapper. I might hang that up a little bit later. This one is a portable pour-over coffee pot. This is just a windbreak. Back here in the back we've got a toaster. This goes over your burners, so you have the ability to put four pieces of toast up against it. Over here in the corner we've got olive oil. And then sitting here along the side, this is my coffee grinder. Sitting here along the side we've got the primary uh, frying pan. So this is good enough for one or two people. I really like this uh, this coating. Uh, it really holds up well for this kind of use. I'm going to use that here in a little bit. Here we got a couple of plates and then a griddle with the same kind of coating on it. So you can see I've cut the handles off of those. So I've got this little handle here that I can use to hold on to them. And then some measuring cups. Got a can opener down in there. A couple of battery powered red lights. Uh, just figuring that I didn't want to mess with my night vision all the time. Got a nice big spatula for pancakes. We've got a little bit of uh, dish soap. Oh, let's see, got a couple more cups back here in the back, and down at the bottom is a cutting board. So, the other piece that I've got is this guy. So we're going to use these here in a second, but this is another startup company. They had a folding set of kitchen knives. And there's a cutting board in here too, so I'll set you back up on the tripod and show you what this looks like. So this company is Messermeister. Again, I'm not uh, affiliated with any of these companies. I just, when I find a product I like, I go ahead and purchase it. So they've got several varieties. I've got actually their full cooking set, but this one is just a standard kitchen knife. So nice and sharp and easy to fold up. So it does a great job of allowing me to keep a good kitchen knife so I don't have to use my utility knife for, uh, for cutting vegetables. And on the other side over here, I've got a small fold-up cutting board. Maybe not the highest quality board in the world, but it definitely does the job. So, 
to set this up and get to cutting some food. So tonight the plan is for steak and onions and I'll probably do some chips and salsa to go along with it. So we'll get going. Save that for the compost height, compost heap. Definitely don't need the full one, but I think what we're gonna do, yeah. I'll save some of this for tomorrow. Nice rough chop. All right, put the rest of this away and move on to the rest of the dinner.
Here we've got a set of spices. This is just a travel spice rack. I riveted a strap across the top so I can hold these in here. And then filled them with different things. So we have salt, pepper, garlic. This is a mix of uh, Mexican type seasoning. So we've got uh, cumin, chili powder, um, red pepper flake, and uh, some cayenne in there. This one over here is Italian seasoning. So we've got, um, let's see, basil, oregano, parsley, and some marjoram. And then this last one over here is uh, cinnamon and sugar. Figured I might want to make some donuts one of these days. Salt. A little pepper. And some garlic. This goes on pretty much anything. There we go. And let these cook for a little while. You know you can't do onions without butter. There we go. Got the steak and onions, and I went ahead and added some more of the caramelized onions into the salsa. This jarred salsa, it'll do the job. Get the flies out of the way. But yeah, simple dinner, but it does the trick. And I can use the leftover coals over here to help me start a fire later. So we'll get some dinner and be back and check in with you later.
you know. There's something about a campfire. Even if it is pretty close to a town and a street like this one is. There's something about it that, uh, I don't know, makes you think about things and it's calming, I would say. And to have this on one side and the sunset over the lake behind me, I might have to move this chair so I can see both. You know what? Not a bad idea. There we go. Here, let me show you what I'm looking at. Now that is a nice way to end the evening. You even have some fish out there. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this fire. And I'll see y'all in the morning. We'll make some breakfast and get back on our way. Hope y'all are enjoying your evening. We'll see you soon.